at the San Andreas Cemetery, where these moments, Rav Ovadi Yosef, one of the greatest rabbis of the state of Israel, is being buried. He passed away this afternoon at the age of 93. About 700,000 people, an eighth of the population of Israel, have swarmed into Jerusalem in order to participate in the mourning of this great rabbi. Hundreds of thousands of mourners have attended the funeral proceedings of Rabbi Ovadia Yosef in Jerusalem. There was no Israeli leader from all walks of life who did not feel the urge to offer his official condolences as well as attend the funeral proceedings as if the rabbi was a state's official. Within hours, almost an eighth of the population of the Jewish state has traveled to Jerusalem to say their final farewell to the rabbi. Official reports talked of seven to 800,000 mourners on the streets of Jerusalem. However, Israeli TV guesstimated over a million and a half mourners. The police was forced to block a wide area in Jerusalem and eventually blocked all entrance to the capital to avoid losing control of the situation. Yosef, an Iraqi-born sage who turned an Israeli underclass of Sephardic Jews into a powerful political force, died at the age of 93, leaving a big void in the Israeli society as a whole. This important rabbi, the name of Rav Vadi Yosef, uh, the importance that he has to the, to, to, the, to the Jewish nation as a whole, is especially since we were, we were ordained by, by God at Mount Sinai for, for the Holy Torah, and he was a person that his whole life was dedicated to learn Torah. Israeli President Shimon Peres visited Yosef's bedside earlier this week in Jerusalem's Hadassah Hospital, joining a steady stream of Shas politicians and top rabbis. Thousands packed synagogues to pray for Yosef's recovery. As a hospital spokesman announced the rabbi's death, followers outside the facility and his home broke into tears, hiding their faces in their hands and swaying in worship. In addition to being one of the fiercest Jewish lawmakers of the century, Rabbi Ovadi Yosef was also the leader of the ultra-Orthodox Shas party, which as of tomorrow is going to undergo one of the harshest inheritance war it ever saw. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the San Andreas Cemetery in Jerusalem.